G'day, welcome to Real Action. Michael Guest, Barney, and Matt's joined us on today's show. We're catching a few live baits. While we're doing that, Barney's going to flick a vibe around, and we're going to head inshore, see if we can't get a few live squid as well. Work our way back to the estuary, mouth of the estuary, that is, and see uh, kingfish, flathead, and mulloway maybe into the dark and chase a mulloway a little bit later on. So plenty going on, a little bit of breeze, but it's pretty calm at the moment. You chuck the vibe. Maybe if I jig you up a live bait, you can put one down on that rod Definitely. and we'll see what we can come up with. Keen, mate, keen. Pick something up there, Guest. What you got, the... mate? I'm not exactly sure. Flathead. Maybe, maybe a flathead. Looks like yeah, a flathead. It is a flathead, is it? Yeah, is it? If you're going to catch a flathead, you're going to catch oh, one on nice. one of those. It's one of those blue spots. Lift him up, mate. Pretty cool. We're just getting set up. Oh, oh something's had a go at him on the way up. Wow. Hey? I don't know. Something, that, uh, something has bitten him on the way yeah. up. Yeah. Check that out. They're an awesome looking fish, those blue spot flathead. They are. Live on the sand, just out in this sort of depth of water. And they got the big spikes too, yeah, mate. Yeah, so. he's <laughs> like, the look of your, look, like the look of your vibe so far there, mate. I remember mate. you dropped one on my foot one day. Oh, I did drop you one on your foot. Yeah. I didn't mean yeah. it. Yes, you did. And it hurt. Have you harboured some sort of resentment <laughs> against me because I dropped a flathead on your foot? It sounds like it. But uh, yeah, just while we're getting set up, I said to Barnett, maybe give that vibe a bit of a throw around. It just shows you how deep they'll get down. 30 metres of water, straight to the bottom, and there's the result. Not in that time. Put him on this time, bar. Yeah, mate. Oh, what I've got there, mate. Be quiet there for a bit. Little tiny live yellowtail. Drop down. Oh, double look up here, I think. What mate. Have you got? Look at that. Came on the vibe. On the vibe. Delicious. Oh, what have I got? Let's have a look, see. What have you got? A little bar cord. A little cod. Cool. <laughs> How good's that? Oh. Check that out. What do you got, Barney? A flathead? Little, a that's flathead. a little bar cod. Wow, I don't normally catch them in that this shallow. No. It's a cool looking fish. I was wondering what was having a go at my yellowtail there, but they are an awesome looking fish, generally out in the quite deep water. That's definitely a bar cod, isn't it? It's a bar cod, yeah. Yeah. Catch them out in that sort of continental shelf area and just you inside do, yeah. it. So, little fella there, he's just, uh, just come up to say hello, which is pretty cool. I'll get that hook out of him and let him go. Oh, you got the net, matey? Get down here, champ. Right. Oh, oh, champ, I've champed you. My son would be horrified that I said champ. But champion's <laughs> all right. Oh, it looks like a nice bait. They're going to be good for this running tide back in the estuary mouth. So we've just got uh, a couple of cool squid jigs happening. And, oh, I'll just try and see. I think it's hooked reasonably well. Squid jigs, of course, don't have any barbs on the back, so you have to keep a nice even tension. So what Matty's going to do is let it go into the net right, and not lift it up too much because we'll get ink everywhere. Leave him in the water. Well done. You've done that before, Matt. Swing around this way. <laughs> Let's have a look at him, eh? There's just a pile of ink in there. And I'm trying not to point it at you, but that's a beautiful bait right there. Ripper. I look at that purple, that purple squid jig and I thought that looks like a very, very cool colour. It attracted me and it's worked. It's attracted the squid as well. And that's going to make a great bait. We'll put a big circle hook through there, maybe run a stinger hook, and we'll swim that uh, back down in the current there later on, or maybe even put it on the downrigger. Looks like a good one. It's Barney. a good one. Pressure's get on, mate. Net. Pressure's Gotta on. Gotta get the net Pressure's behind it. Oh. Come on, mate. Come on. Got him. Oh. Oh. <laughs> that is yeah, a good one. Yeah, that's a good one. That is a good one. Now that's on that bright pink jig. Look at that. Hey? Yeah. That's nice gonna make color. a nice bait, that one. 
It's a beauty. Oh, Check that out. It's a crack. <laughs> There's a bite. Come on, come on. Here we go. Sing out. Got him on? Yep. Yeah. Give up, you good thing. Go, mate. Go, bud. Good one or what? Oh, he's not real good. He's all right. Go, son. He's not. Oh, here we go. Come on, you got thing. Go, mate. You can down there, give him a hand, buddy. Come on, buddy. Yeah. We've been to him. <laughs> what do you got, Kingy, you reckon? Oh, I think I've got a Kingy, mate. Oh, no. Oh, he's yeah. pretty good, mate, yeah. All right. We're all good, mate. We're pretty clear there. Pretty clear? I'm doing the driving at the moment. Matty's on the net, Barney's on the rod. I think we've got a bit of a nice key happening there. Here he comes. Here he comes. Here he comes. Oh. You right, boys? Yep. Keep going. No, he's good. Oh, nice fish, Barn. Woohoo! Go, Barney! <laughs> <laughs> Get him in the net. Yeah! yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I didn't even have a white fix this morning. Oh, well done! Yeah! Nice, boys. <laughs> oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's what it's all about. Bit of hand to hand. I'm going to dive in here and wrestle him for you. you there's all his stuff going on everywhere here. I lost my glasses. Oh, and he's just, he, you wouldn't believe that. Have a look at that. He's about it. Just grab that out of there for us, Matty. I think we're pretty safe here at the minute. We've drifted in. We're using a couple of big, chemically sharp and super strong hooks. Hang on to those, Barnch. Show me what those look like. And, oh, come here, buddy. Come here, buddy. I'll grab your fish for you, Mark. Oh, and can you believe he just <laughs> spat that out? <laughs> Have a look That's at that. Nice. Nice. It's a oh, meat and kingfish. They go like an absolute train, don't they? Pull hard. Ridiculous. I know you're puffing. You don't mind me holding him up for Get you the, for a sec. Show the me on those hooks. So, mate, you could pull, dead set, you could pull a full drive out of a bog hole with one of those. And we've got two. So one was pinned just lightly in the front of the hood of that squid and the other one trailing at the back. Bunny had the bite, had the bite. You've got to let him eat it, turn and just load that circle hook up. And there's the result. Beautiful big kingfish. Check that out. And they're cool things, aren't they? Yeah, aren't they kingies? Have you amazing. caught a big one before, mate? Not, not one like this, no. Just small little rats, 500 mil or something like that. Half this size, you know? Right, well, it might be your turn on the rod <laughs> next week. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> mate, pull me overboard. Mate, I reckon they're the hardest fighting fish going. We've had some unbelievable battles in this shallow, rocky country before. And I can tell you, every time, it's hard work. They've got the current roaring in. We've got the wind pushing us. It's a bit of a team effort. Somebody driving, somebody fighting. And they've got attitude. And they've got heaps of, got heaps of attitude. <laughs> Alright, we'll let this blade go in a sec. Now that's a cracking catch. Have you been catching some ripper fish lately? Send in your photo to our Alfabs Cracking Catch competition at the Real Action TV Facebook page. To get you hooked up every week, we're giving away a pen, rod, reel and line combo an awesome JBL marine stereo system along with some great gear from Valvoline to keep your marine engine and trailer lubricated. All right, it might be my turn next, or Maddie. Oh, I want to Maddie, see Maddie, Maddie getting stretched on one of these. <laughs> oh dear! What a off you go, buddy. Woo! All right, that's a really good-looking bait right there. So I'll just put the top, just a tenno, very very strong tenno circle hook right through the tip of the hood. I don't think he's overly excited about that, and you wouldn't expect anything different. And this one just through the back of the hood, just lightly and pull that right through. That's our stinger. We want that to hang down around the tentacles and that's a perfect bait to present for a kingfish. 100 pound fluorocarbon leader, 80 pound main line and a 37 kilo glass tip right on that big 9,500 size spin reel and that's the gear you need. This is the anticipation point so that is on the rod. So he's got it in what we call free spill so the bail arm's open so the line can just shoot off if the kingfish comes and grabs it. So. As you see, a pretty wild sort of spot here. Got our life jackets on. So don't ride in and say, Guesty, where's your life jacket? We've always got it on. Matty's got his on there as well. Pretty, pretty good on the bar on the running tide. So breeze and the tide are going the same way, which is pushing us pretty hard. 
Money's on the throttle this time. A little bit of reverse there, Barn, just a little bit. Slow us up a little bit. And if you don't get a bite, we'll simply wind that squid in, put it back in the live bait tank and go again. We're in the in the seven metre centre cab. It's a cracking boat, this one. You can walk right around it, so it's fantastic to have access right to the bow and uh, plenty of room in the back here. Right up, mate, back in the neutral there. Happy there, mate? Yeah, all, all right good, there, mate. Matty? Yeah. It's good, Barn. Marine Rescue New South Wales has more than 3,000 volunteers to help keep you safe on the water. You can log on with your local Marine Rescue base when you're heading out. You can call them back to check your marine radio is working. Best of all, they'll come to your rescue if you break down or worse. It costs a lot to provide this world-class service, so make sure you support your local volunteers whenever you get the chance. Marine Rescue New South Wales, volunteers saving lives on the water. Well, the wind and the weather's beating us. We got a nice kingfish there before, or Barney did anyway, and uh, we tried to get one for Maddie. No luck so far. The tide's starting to run out, so we've ducked inside the estuary system here. You can see there's some quite bad pressure waves further back there. So all we're going to do is run a couple of uh, live yellowtail baits. Barney's putting one out that side. I'm going to put one out this side. A couple of 6 chemically sharpened hooks. These ones are beauties, so they're, uh, they're what we call a cutting point hook and perfect for live bait fishing. Some 40-pound fluorocarbon leader. And I'll just uh, I'll sit those hooks down there. And then I've got quite a heavy snapper lead because that tide's running out pretty hard at the moment. And that's tied to one swivel with a dropper and it slides up and down my main line, the other swivel's there. So what that does is it allows that sinker to sit there and if you can see right back there, that bait's going to sit up above the bottom. So it's not jammed in the bottom. Sinker will sit there and that, that uh, live bait, which will pin that front hook through the nose, it'll sit face into the current and hopefully a mulloway is going to come along and, and uh, decide it's dinner. But uh, we're sitting here really well. Electric motor is doing a sterling job. I can see it working really hard there, holding us. You've got wind coming this way, tide going that way. Everything's against us. The only thing good thing we've got is the sun's not far from going down and that's when the Jewies like to bite. Good morning, out of the there. way, mate. Have a mouthful of apple here. <laughs> You're having a mouthful of apple? Oh. Go, son. Get mine in out the way. It's that time of day, that sun, oh, it's just disappearing. I can't get over how well, I've got to tell you. We're on what's called spot lock with the electric motor. The wind is absolutely howling and we are sitting here perfectly. Looking at the GPS and see our track. We haven't moved and hoping Barney might have still a... still chewing on the apple. <laughs> Barney might have something, so we'll see how we go. I let that one go back a bit that time. I was a little bit worried there for a minute. I didn't have enough flying, so anyway, getting a bit back on him now. When it comes to fishing for mulloway or jewfish, these things are absolutely ideal. What we call a live liner style reel. With that secondary drag system in the back. Barney had it set on about the second setting. Third. It, third setting, there you go, sorry. <laughs> he's, he, he's always correcting me, he's done it there, the third setting. Matty, did you hear that? Uh, the third, the third, setting. third setting, everybody got that. So there's four settings, so Barney had it on the third setting now, I've been corrected, which, uh, which is a little bit, has a little bit more pressure. And uh, once that mulloway, or we're hoping it's a mulloway, picks that bait up, you'll hear that go screaming off. That's the sound you want. And then you wind over and click onto your fighting drag. Come on, son. Here we go. I might have to cut that sinker off. Oh, no, she's down. Are you Beautiful. Right? Look at that. Oh, there's a bit of drag there. <laughs> it's that few knots of current. Oh, head shake there. Keep going. Happy day! Yes. 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 Bit of a noise, oh, the boys are waving up on the rocks there. Well, no, let's have a look. That's a nice one. Happy day! What a ripper! Get some lippy grippers. Grip oh, check out well the colours in it. I think you missed one there earlier, so I it's did. good that you... I was a bit quiet there for a while, wasn't I? Yeah, you were a bit... <laughs> I think you were worried you were going to miss this one. Here you I go. You choked on that apple. Come, <laughs> and, come and grab your... What's wrong with my apple? <laughs> Oh, just in there, those hooks. Just in there? Just. We can actually get those out, Happy I think. Fair applause. Doing a bit of the grunting down there. Yeah, Mulloway, magnificent fish. They uh, school up big time along the rock walls and 
And uh, he's just under there. Mate. He's just one of those fish that are ready for a feed any time. Here you go, mate. I'll hang on to that rod and reel. And support the belly there and lift that fish up. Oh, oh. what a ripper. Look at that one. <laughs> Jump in here, matey. Uh, the, boys, the boys are pretty happy. That's a really nice fish. And, and uh, that's that time of day. The sun has just gone down. Low tide's still a couple of hours away, but that's when the Mulloway tend to get out and about and have a bit of a hunt around. They've got that fantastic big lateral line. You can see those diamond shaped lateral lines running along there. Big eye, they love hunting at night time. So um, things like live yellowtail, live slimy mackerel. Pike. Pike, any Ooh. of those are really, really good baits. You can see it's pretty ordinary the weather. We've stuck it out pretty well today. Got that nice kingy early. We've got a few fish out while we're catching some live bait. And I tell you, we're in a bit of a precarious position here, but I think we're just right. We're just out of these pressure waves. Just remember, make sure you've got some local knowledge before you come roaring into a place like this. I'm with a couple of local fellas at the moment, Barney and Matt, and we've got a pretty good idea what's going on. But uh, the result of some hard work right good there, result mate. there, mate. Right there. Well done. Barney's just giving that fish a bit of a drink with the head and the current. And uh, one thing I did want to quickly show you, just turn around this way, are those gripping teeth. And if you miss a, miss a bite on a mulloway, I'm not going to put my finger in there too far, quite often you'll have these pin marks in your bait. So that's one to keep out for. So if you do happen to miss a bite, if you see those pin marks in there, you can pretty well say it's a, it's a dewy or a mulloway. Right on, mate, let's let it go. Let's go. Let's that's a right. ripper. And there we go. All right, open that up. What do you reckon you got? Oh, that's a big flathead, buddy. Nice. We thought we'd sneak up here, and uh, we know along the rock wall here there's a couple of places where some big flathead lie. They, they stack up. You see all the, the, if you go for a dive, the males will all get on top of the females. And we thought, you know what? It's the death of the tide. It's the perfect time to try for a big flathead. And what's that? First proper cast. Yep. Unweighted bait. So you took your sinker bait, off? Took the sinker off, unweighted bait right in there, mate. And we've spotted this fish. Happy We're just going to tow it over to the sandbank here so we can show you. But it is a big breeding female flat. We want to have a look at it. Hopefully have a look at it. And we'll let it go. But um, oh, it's a cool way to fish. All right, mate, we're oh. on the sandbank. You all right? Yeah, I'm right. Oh, I thought it was a shade bigger than that. But I've got to tell you, that's an absolute cracker, barn. Happy days. Hey? Oh, look at that. Ah, just the <laughs> greatest looking fish. I've got a glove and a lip grip there, Barney. Let's just see if we can't get this big girl. Oh. And we'll... Pressure's on now, mate. Pressure is on. It's always on. Yes. So that lip grip's locked in. The hooks are pretty right, so I'm going to sneak my glove in. Wait, when you put that glove in, you've really, really got to lock down nice and tight. All right, mate. I'll get rid of these lip grips, Barn. I'm not a big fan of lip grips on big flathead. I've got right. a really good thumb grip. These gloves are just fantastic, but it really pays to get that really good grip on the jaw of the fish. And we'll just give that fish a really nice big support. Look at that. That, that is, is a nice fish. I don't often hold your fish up, but I'm more than happy to. <laughs> I've done the driving yeah, today. I know, I know. So I've been driving for Barn, and he's been dropping the baits out. And I've got to tell you, that's an absolute cracker of a flathead. All right, where you go, girl. Oh, look at that, Barney. <laughs> Away she goes. You on? Yep. Yep. Got him, mate. Oh, that's a good one. <laughs> that's a seriously good fish, that one. Happy day. Oh, 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 yeah, baby. Look at that one. That's a good fish, mate. Oh. Well, we head back over to the sandbank again, so. Oh, no, you're doing everything That's now. nice. I finally got to have a fish. Barney's been oh. on the rod there. On there today. But I, right there? Oh. Good fish. There it is, Brian. Oh, it's got a bit of size about it. Oh, here we go. Oh. <laughs> oh, wow. That is a cracker. Look at the power they got. Beautiful. They're seen as a, a table fish flathead, but I've got to tell you, they, on the right gear, they're a fantastic fighting fish as well. Just a, just a bit of advice. Next time you come oh, oh. chasing big flathead, maybe bring a net with you, but we're going to. Net would be Luckily, we've got a sandbank. Barney's going to just clip that in gently. Have a look at the hooks. Oh, oh careful, mate. 
Look at that. Have a look where the hooks are. Yep. And then we'll just uh, sneak that glove in there. That's it, mate. Sneak that in. I think we're looking pretty good. Oh. Oh. Oh, we've got, we got a few people watching us at the bridge here at the moment, but that's always good fun. Oh, they've got a fair bit of jaw pressure yeah. there too. There's <laughs> a bit of jaw pressure. Lift that up. Yeah, baby, wow. check that out. Woohoo! You don't mind them holding yeah. fish. <laughs> Happy days. That is a big flathead. That's an absolute cracker. So we've had a pretty good day so far. We, we, we were chasing a mulloway. It's funny how things change and real action. You've got to show some versatility. <laughs> we're up the front there. Well, we didn't get our mull away. We saw somebody catch a nice dewy. Yeah, it was a good so one we too. were pumped and right on the tide change we thought we'd come and try for a flathead and that's the second one. Mate, that's getting up there, isn't it? That's close to that 90 centimetre mark, that one for sure. Yeah, I think have I got I think I've got you. Yeah, only just. I think I did the right <laughs> thing though. I've been touring Barney around on the PWC today and uh, and he's been dropping the baits, he got a nice broom earlier, he got that really good flathead. It was my turn to have a cast, and I've got to tell you, it just paid off. See, if you look after your mates, it comes back, it you does, get rewarded. It's calm, mate. It is calm. You've been watching Real Action, Guesty and Barney. We're going to let this big flathead go, and we'll catch you next time. Bye now. See you guys. Oh, look at that. Go on, big girl. Off you go. There she goes. Nice. Happy days. If you want more tips, tricks, and behind the scenes stories, check out the Real Action Fishing Podcast. Thank you.